Well, they are two siblings who are literally in sync, both on and off the ice, waltzing their way to Olympic bronze and now taking a leap into the literary world. Alex and Maya Shibutani made history as the first figure skaters of Asian descent to win medals at the 2018 Olympics and were just elected to the U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame. Now they just released an illustrated picture book honoring 36 of their cultural role models. It's titled Amazing Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders Who Inspire Us All. And I had a chance to speak with the Shib Sibs about what their bond and this book means to them. Alex and Maya, it's so great to have you guys with us. Thank you for having us on, Kira. Yes. Well, Alex, let's start with you, okay? What is it about your sister that you respect so much? <laughs> I love it. Not just personally, but professionally, because it had to all fold together, right? Yeah. Well, she's my sister. <laughs> that's, and that's, she's beautiful and smart and talented and truly an inspiration to you. Go ahead. You left nothing else for me to say. Um, <laughs> we, we really work well together. Uh, I'm so lucky to be her older brother uh, and we're, we have big goals. Uh, and so I've got the best teammate for those. Aww. All right, Maya, you know I have to ask you the same question. Alex has always been an incredible older brother. Uh, just the fact that we're even teammates and everything that we do I think is so special and we're able to bring that trust that we have from skating to the projects we're working on now. And we're different people. Um, but that collaboration and the conversations that we have I think make all the work that we put out there even better. I mean there has to have been a time where there's been some conflict that you've had to deal with, right? You were under a lot of pressure when you were competing, yet your best friends, your brother and sister. So how did you get through those tough times without jeopardizing the love you have for each other? I think you mentioned it right there. There was a lot of external pressure, and so especially when we were younger, that's when we started to have some tension just because we'd both be nervous, not really, we weren't sure how to handle it, but I think that we just tried to stay grounded and realize that we were both doing something that we love so much. So also comedy helped. About an hour before our competitions, like all of a sudden, we're fighting. And why <laughs> is this happening? Oh, maybe it's because we're, we're stressed out. There's pressure, we both want to do well. But having that understanding uh, and then working together and, and finding a way to laugh and enjoy it and sort of, sort of reconnect to the reason why we were competing, which was to entertain, to perform, uh, to do our best. Besides each other, all right, who inspired the two of you on this skating journey? Hmm. I think that we had a lot of great role models within the skating community, but then when it comes to our relationship, we're so fortunate that our parents really taught us that we're each other's best friend, and no matter what the result is on the ice, we're going to be there for each other our entire lives. Oh, clearly. And now you guys have written this book, which, by the way, my twins love. Um, they they were reading it. through it in the past week. Yes, and, and they are learning a lot about, you know, your culture, but also, you know, pretty magnificent people, right, throughout time that have, have really been tremendous role models for you guys. And you've got past and present in there. Tell me, how did you pick the, the, each individual that you wanted to profile? As you mentioned, this book highlights both historic and contemporary figures. I think it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Literally, though, that's the name of the book. Uh, <laughs> amazing Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders who inspire us all. Uh, and we're thrilled that it's out there in the world and that people are able to read it and learn about all of these incredible figures and their important contributions. Uh, but unfortunately, their contributions and the knowledge about them has been limited. Uh, we live in a multicultural society here in the United States, and uh, unfortunately, it hasn't been you know education. Uh, visibility through media and entertainment hasn't been representative of, of everyone and how multicultural we are as a society. Uh, so we're excited to share uh, and introduce these figures to the next generation, but also people who may not know of them already. Well, which leads me to the surfers and the swimmers. I know this was fun for you guys to put together. It was fun for us too. I mean, all of us here on our team learned so much a bit about each one of these individuals that have made an impact within your culture. Tell me about the surfers and the swimmers. Well, now I have to adjust my posture because I feel like <laughs> surfers, surfers are cool people. 
Um, and so to speak about <laughs> surfers, I have to kind of take on that energy. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are, there are so many different types of career paths and in individuals. We have uh, policymakers, change makers, athletes, artists, musicians, uh, really trying to introduce the full spectrum of possibility to the kids, the children who are going to be reading and enjoying this book. Uh, and so in selecting the athletes, we, um, you know, I don't know if this comes as a surprise, but we didn't know about all of the figures before we started this project. Uh, and so two of those figures are actually the first Asian American woman and Asian American man to win an Olympic gold medal. And they did so in 1948 at the London Olympics. They were both divers and we only learned about their stories a few years ago. So for us to be able to share their contributions and what they overcame with everyone through this book has been very exciting. What do you want kids, not just from your culture, right, but all cultures to take away from your book. Maya? I think that we want kids to believe that anything is possible and really be inspired by these figures. But what I'm so excited about is that kids will be able to go into libraries, bookstores, and have this cover that has the word amazing on it and see all these different faces. Yeah, and I, the reason why we're very intentional here about making a children's picture book um, a, across all of the potential forms of, of genre and media that this could have taken place in, uh, we wanted it to be a ch children's picture book because Multi-generational storytelling creates multi-generational conversation. Alex and Maya, and we'll be following every single project book, everything that you're doing. And in your off time, do you mind coming over and babysitting my twins and helping my two 12-year-olds become as fabulous as you? Gulp. <laughs> um, no pressure. That's a lot of pressure. I think everyone assumes that because we're we're great teammates and we're siblings, they get along. That we like, can pass on those lessons. I think what it leads to is a serious resentment from um, the siblings, the young siblings <laughs> that get told about us uh, from by their, their parents. parents. Yeah, yeah like, uh, Oh my gosh. These yes, two again. why can't you be like Alex and Maya? No, 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 no. We don't well, want you, that. We don't want you that. You hold Every... the standard, I must say. You know, just, just to emphasize the, the cover here. Amazing. That does define you both. Yeah, I loved you. interviewing you guys. I can't wait to see what's next in your journey, Alex Maya. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank you for you. having us. And Amazing Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders who inspire us all is available everywhere you can buy books. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.